Hello friends, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Johnson's Ever After. My name is Ashley. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's a weekend vlog. Um, we don't really have much planned. Um, we're kind of going to see where the weekend takes us. Um, it's Friday right now, so Josh is at work. Dossie is here. Um, he is, we're having a movie day. Because, yeah. He wanted to have movies on the big TV and... Mom. Mama needs to relax, so I am all for that. Um, before we get too far in, if you watched our last vlog, I feel the need to kind of explain. I haven't really watched the footage back, so I don't even know if this is accurate, but I remember feeling like I was very removed and like disassociated when we were filming it. And you'll probably notice there wasn't that much content. It was really just a cooking vlog, which we love showing recipes but we didn't really include anything else and I explained a little but I feel the need to explain a little more so I have kind of been on this roller coaster lately um, and it's both physical and mental health um, to start off with I had a migraine that I was still recovering from and it just would not go away and I've been having a toothache because I still have my wisdom teeth. I know I should get them removed. But life is busy. We just haven't got that far. Um, so sometimes it acts up. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have no idea what he just said. Do you want to say hi, Bubba? You wanna say hi? <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, I was dealing with that and honestly I was just <laughs> I'm trying to be serious and he's being cute over here. Um, I was just feeling really burnt out. Um life lately has been so busy and we've just kind of been in survival mode. Where it's really like, you know, Josh works really hard and, you know, when he's home, he does his best to give to both of us, but realistically we know Dossie needs him more, so Josh and I have not really had any time together. Um, we're hoping to have a date night soon. I don't know if we're going to go out or stay in. Um, we have a movie that's in theaters we'd like to see, but if we wind up not being able to pull that off... I think we're just gonna stay home, probably watch some movies, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, so like, we're kind of like, we see each other but we don't really see each other, and then I always wind up falling asleep before he comes to bed, um, and Dossie has, since he turned three, developed a bunch of energy. I've been feeling the mom burnout, guys. It's, don't get me wrong, I love being a mom. It's my favorite thing in the world. But some days it's just so exhausting. Because you don't really, there's no such thing as a break. Um, and then like, I don't know, emotionally I was like going through stuff too. Like, it's just, it's been a roller coaster. And I always get this way this kind of time of year. Especially because that was the week that the season really changed from summer to gloomy. Um... I definitely, definitely have felt seasonal depression in years past at this time. So that's kind of what I was going through. So if I seemed removed, that's why. I'm totally okay. It's just sometimes we all get burnt out. And, you know, life is... I'm, I'm slowly coming back to normal. I can't guarantee what my days are like. Um, but yeah, that's why you didn't see much of me in the vlogs. Um, I'm really grateful to Josh for filming uh, because we both enjoy doing this and he knows what it means to me and he also knew that I wanted to make a vlog but I needed to rest um, so he volunteered to do that and it was fun I really liked it I think Josh is can I help you oh my goodness um, I think Josh is great at filming so sometimes it's fun to just let him film the video and do that anyway Serious talk over. I just felt the need to explain myself. I don't know why. I'm someone who, even when there's no reason to feel guilty, I 
feel very guilty about a lot of things inside. I'm just that person. It's like, I don't know why I'm that way. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, but I did have a pretty good day Wednesday. You know, I got to have sushi with my Grammy. Um, I love sushi. It made my heart very happy because it was just... It's been a very long time since I got to just enjoy something. And sushi is something I love, but it's a rare treat. Um, so yeah, I had that. And she shared some of her coconut shrimp with me, which was delicious. And it just made me happy. And then we had some successful recipes, which I had been in a real food rut. Um, so yeah, that really cheered me up. And so it kind of got me woo, starting to get out of the funk and yeah anyways so we're gonna see what the weekend takes us um but first for your entertaining pleasure just to have some light heartedness after that i present to you dossie dancing to your welcome from moana i don't own that song by the way i just I feel the need to say that. Obviously, I don't, but uh, he really likes to sing the last word of lines. He hasn't been doing it today, but he was really in dance mode. Huh. So, here you go. read your first message because you texted be there soon you texted on my way be there soon I read it as I'll be on my way soon oh. and that's why I said to you I was like what you're supposed to be off at this time I was heck when I sent the message <laughs> oh, God. when Anyways. I sent the message I was getting on the fruit uh, <laughs> it was so by the time I finished typing it I should say <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go. <laughs> Am I just giving you all sorts of anxiety? Yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're coming to you live from the Honda Odyssey where he has discovered the M&Ms. What do you have to say? Yummy. <laughs> yummy. You've heard it here for her, folks. Yummy. Do you want these? All right, so we're home now. Let's go, <laughs> Doctors went fairly good. <laughs> I get to stop one of my medications, and everything else looks good. I have to go see an orthopedist because I've been having issues with my hip, which hopefully gets resolved quickly, and hopefully I don't have to have surgery for. Uh -huh. So yeah, we'll find yeah. out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna make dinner. Um, we have, we're making something called Rotel Rice as one of our sides, but it takes an hour. So I'm gonna get that going. 
And then we're also gonna make taco chicken tenders and this really yummy corn pepper onion saute. So that's where we're at right now. All right, so Rotel rice, we have one cup of uh, rinsed and drained long grain white rice. I don't know what my husband is doing behind me. And then we have one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. We just have the Winco brand. And it said to do those undrained. For extra flavor. And then it said two and two thirds cup of broth. They call it the chicken broth, but we have veggie broth, so that's what we need. Hey, I'm trying to tell them how I'm making this. Sorry, I'm performing an exorcist. Were you trying to say exorcism? What did I say? Exorcist. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so then we're gonna do two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> It sucks. Help me. <laughs> All you gotta do is ask. You said two? Yeah. This can does suck. <laughs> I'm gonna get the half a teaspoon of Cuban. <laughs> the hole needs to be just a little bigger. What? <laughs> Don't mind how it goes. You purposely are trying to be dirty. No, I'm not. It legit needs to be bigger. Just saying. It's, it's just getting stuck. Okay. Why? Now you <laughs> I'm being legit serious. All right, we're good. Joshua, I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> Closed. And yes. then all this butter. All this butter. I'm gonna stir this. You wanna dump the butter in? You better, you better, you better. Okay. You gotta let me in. Uh, uh. Oh Got some duck. Should we like whisk that in to mix it? Mm -hmm. Or do you think just leaving it in chunks looks good? I'm trying to remember the last time. We haven't made this. Oh, we haven't made this one? It seemed familiar. I've talked about it a lot. Alright, so. Uh, stir it a moment. But I think it wouldn't hurt to give it. Yeah. Hey. I hear you, Bella. Hey! I told you to leave that down. Ah, oh, the joys of having a three year old. I think that's gonna be what I don't like it too. I think that's about perfect because then it'll melt and it'll get all Yeah. We'll broke it up a little bit. Okay. You lower that blind. And now we are going to spray a nine inch baking dish. <laughs> and knock over some stuff in the process. <laughs> it looks great. Doesn't look like it's gonna turn out, but I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, now we're gonna prep that in foil and we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes and then we're gonna do 30 more minutes without foil. So stay tuned. I might do two pieces. That'd be a good idea. Not good. And totally not because I made this one too short, but I think it might actually stay secure that way. Sounds good. I trust you. Well, I don't know how well you can see me, but we're going for a walk. Oh, when I say we, I mean me and that boy. Oh, good job. I figured that was going to take him a moment. He just leaped. <laughs> you having fun, Bubba? He gets in, he gets in his own on a walk. He loves it. 
almost wanted a snack before. Well, to hold her over till dinner, because that rice takes a bit. So, heading down to the little convenience store to grab a snack. I don't know how well you can see me. It's very, a lot of trees. Look, you got a pop from the nice lady at the convenience store. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna love that. Jeez, it's already half gone. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Bubba. Let's go! Let's go see Mama! Let's go get Mama! Let's go! Ah, are you gonna get me? Boo! Boo! Oh! Boo! Oh! Huh? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Head that way! Head to the stairs! Head to the stairs, you're good! <laughs> Head to the stairs! Hey! Head up, Bubba. There you go. Come on. <laughs> Who are you scaring? You good? Did you walk into a spider web? All right, so the camera died. Oh, sun glare got me. <laughs> um, so we didn't really get to film the rest of cooking dinner, but it looks pretty dang good. All right, so we got our taco chicken tenders, which you guys have seen us make before. Uh, Tex-Mex cor uh, corn pepper onion saute and some Rotel rice and barbecue sauce because I love it. Let's find out how this tastes. Start filming. Start coughing. <clears throat> so, there's the bed. No clips done today, but we haven't had too much going on. With our dryer out, we've been, uh, we went over and did some laundry. I had the grandparents to get caught up. And now we're home. I'm pretty sure both Ashley and, well, I know Dossie is. Ashley snoozing on the couch too, I think. I'm starting dinner, which is the vegetarian green pinto bean enchiladas, which we've filmed a few times. We've made it quite a few times now. I'll get some clips of it while I throw it together, but it's a really good one. <laughs> a very good one. I'm not even filming it. There we go.
You, you wanted to make cookies, huh? Oh, she's still. Don't eat him. We gotta cook him first. Salivate after. Hi, friends. So, I don't know if Josh. Sorry, I was messing with my hair while I was sitting here and it's all crazy. Um, I don't know if Josh said it while the boys were making cookies, but it is now Sunday. Um, yesterday was a pretty good day. I don't know how much Josh said when he was making a clip for dinner yesterday. Um, yeah. You can have more in a little bit, okay? Anyways, um, yesterday we went and we did a bunch of laundry, um, and we were just kind of drained. I was actually napping while Josh was making dinner because I was exhausted. I was also taking a nap this morning because I woke up super early. Um, but anyways, we're here now and it's Sunday. We don't have a ton going on, just kind of catch up. Um, Josh works a lot of today, but we're going to try a new recipe for dinner later. In the meantime, I am going to take all the recipes that we have been successfully making and add them to the recipe book. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> much later um, I did not get all the recipes written down I got a fair amount but not all of them um, I had a good lunch I just had some chicken and now we're gonna start dinner because tonight's dinner takes a bit and we're just gonna eat kind of early um, so we are making stuffed shells with red lentil bolognese but we're kind of adding combining it with a classic stuffed shell recipe because our recipe we chose to use didn't have any cheese in it and well we just don't do that in this house <laughs> So we are going to get started on the prep work for that, so. Okay, so I'm setting myself the task of getting the cheese filling recipe uh, together. I'm just kind of guesstimating a lot of this, just because we just need to use up the ricotta that we have. Which is about half a thing. So. We're just gonna do that. It might only get like literally a dollop in every shell, but <laughs> at least it's cheesy. Exactly. You can't have like cheeseless shell. What is that? All right, Maestro. Can I assign you to uh, shred this little bitty black mozzarella into the bowl? judge how the mozzarella is. I'm really just eyeballing it. Or the parmesan, not the mozzarella. You just do the mozzarella. Good? I think so. Let's first mix these. Okay, so we got that. I need an egg. Hi, baby! You want a popsicle or a snack? Just let me know. Okay. You have a lot of cheese when you're gone, Daddy. Alright, one egg. And we're back. Do me a favor, get that a mix. I think 
that's beautiful. Okay, is there pepper over there? Mm -hmm. All right, so sprinkle the pepper. And then oregano. I'm just gonna do like a teaspoon of oregano. Cause oregano can be really strong. By the way guys, this is like completely improvised. The recipe I looked at, I only looked at as a reference. <laughs> All right. Scant teaspoon of parsley. That's a lot of parsley. <laughs> no. You heard the kid. It's not a lot. I'm not say there's too much garlic. They'll come after you. You know that's a crime in this house. Oh my gosh, I can never get this much garlic jar open. Honey, help. <laughs> Why the Kirkland garlic dress? I can never get them open. There's that. And then we we'll do a sprinkle of salt, and then that's good. Just set it aside until we get to the point of using it. Beautiful. insane amount of vegetables prep to prep for the bolognese part. Enjoy this time lapse. Wait, 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 wait. Walnuts, cashews. I'm talking to him. Cashews! One cannot have too much garlic. All over the place. Holy oh, smokers. Okay. <laughs> One way to do it. Lentils are in. in 
You good. Please be careful with my shades, Bubba. They're not a toy to beat around. Bolognese is ready, pasta is draining, and now we're gonna make the cashew cream. <laughs> See, it's not just me. I never said it wasn't just you. <laughs> no, but you laughed at me. No, it's hilarious. All right. I think water, lemon juice, garlic, salt, traditionally yeast. The mixture. That must have been what was initially supposed to give it like a fake cheese mm -hmm. thing. I see. I see that now in texture. Well, look at this thing of beauty. Oh, sorry. I mean that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I meant the first one. Rude. It didn't look bad. Turned out good. Like Tell them what you told me though. The cat I like very tomato forward sauces and the cashew cream really dulled that. So I'm kinda glad that we added the cheese. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's why I only did a little on top of each one. I don't want to like completely smother it. Yeah. Okay. It turned out good. And now you said we're doing it for what, fifteen minutes? Uh, once it goes in? I think it said twenty. Twenty? Okay. Just so I know. Come on, focus today. Okay, so the stuffed shells didn't really work out. Okay. So we're just kind of having a snacky night. Um, Josh had to go out <laughs> door dashing. Dossie is watching an Ice Age movie. I think I'm going to watch something on Netflix. Because I tried to read new books and they just both did not work out. So I think it's safe to say we're back in a reading slump. Um, if you guys have stayed tuned this long, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. We really enjoy getting to make these videos. Um, and anytime somebody tunes in, it, we're really grateful. But anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.